All right, everybody, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to install the 32 amp juice box electric car charger. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and start by opening up your electrical panel. It would be smart probably to turn off the power on your main breaker first before you take the cover off. I went ahead and after that, I went ahead and opened up a video from the build of my house to make sure I wasn't gonna be hitting any wires. Um, find the, the electrical path on that. But here's your main breaker that you're gonna to wanna to turn off right there to be as safe as possible. And then from there, I went ahead and drilled a screw into uh, the knockout that I was gonna be taking out for the one inch pre-made whip because I'm installing the hardwired version rather than the plug-in version. Um, and I'm gonna be installing this outdoors. So I went ahead and drilled a screw through the one inch knockout. And I went ahead and pulled that out with my pliers um, and then after that I went ahead and drilled a screw through the hole so I knew where my hole was going to be outside um, so I knew where to drill the hole outside um, so I got that drilled and then I went ahead and walked around outside and saw that my screw was poking out just barely above my cable box um, and then from there I went ahead and just kind of held up the electric car charger and kind of got an idea of if this spot was going to work make sure the cable charging cable was long enough to charge the car and it was so after that i went ahead and popped out a breaker and and i disconnected that and unscrewed the wire that it is landed to and i went ahead and took that breaker to home depot um, so i could find the exact same version and I left the wire out away from anything to be as safe as possible. So I went ahead and took my breaker to Home Depot to match it. So I went ahead and grabbed a two pole 40 amp breaker because this is a 32 amp juice box. So I grabbed the 40 amp breaker and some silicone at the store. Um, and then I quickly came back home, took out the screw that was in the one inch, the one inch knockout. So my hole is already made outside. So I went ahead and took my drill bit and started to drill that out. And then I quickly realized after I started that I made a mistake. And that was the tube is one inch to go through the wall, but the hole needed to be bigger for the connector. And even more of a problem was that my hole didn't line up because it was off centered. So I went ahead and had to cut a giant hole in the side of my house. I'm not sure the exact size that you would need to make this fit perfectly. I would guess a one and one and a half inch hole, but you, basically you're gonna wanna take a hole saw and put that over the end of the connector before you start. Um, and you can take that connector off so you don't have the wire in the way or anything like that. So if you want a cleaner hole, use a hole saw that will fit the connector through so you don't have to cut a ginormous hole in the side of your house. Uh, but to me, it didn't really matter. Um, so from there I stuck the connector through and it tightened the lock nut into the back of the panel. And once I got that tightened down, I went ahead and um, went back outside and grabbed my screws from the package. And there's only four screws that it comes with. Two screws go into the back of the juice box and the other twos are the other two screws are meant to, uh, screw to the house with the bracket um, but you're going to want to just have the screws long enough so this plate slides on and off because that is the only way that is held onto the house so you're going to want to make that make you're going to want to make sure that the screws are loose enough that you can slide the cover up and down and then from there you're going to want to take it off and then screw it to your house so i just kind of held it up where i wanted it put my finger next to it and got the spot that I wanted. And then I took my plate and started to screw it into the house. Um, so I shot the first screw and leveled it out and then put on the second screw. And I put the juice box on there, but it was really, really wobbly. So I went ahead and put three screws on top and three screws on bottom to make it more solid. And that seemed to help out a little bit. Um, so once I got the bracket mounted, um, with that facing outwards so you can slide the juice box on. Went ahead and uh, slid that on there. 
is a little bit tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. And you're gonna wanna tighten the, tighten the key so it locks into place so no one can pull it off of the wall or anything like that and it's secure. After that, I went ahead and grabbed my silicone that I got from the store, uh, which kindly had a giant hole in it from some, when someone opened the package, they slid it. So as soon as I squeezed the caulking, it got all over my hand, it was a giant mess. Anyways, I put a little bit of caulking on the bottom of the tube and then went ahead and strapped that down to the wall um, and then finished around the ginormous hole with the rest of the caulking um, to fill up the hole, which su surprisingly dried really hard and it looks pretty good now. I mean, it doesn't look good, but it works really well. It's solid and uh, it's not sticky and it dried pretty quickly. So that turned out really nice. So I used my hand to get that all nice and finished out. And then I washed my hands a whole bunch to get that off. And then from there I went ahead and put the first breaker back in that I took to Home Depot and uh, got that um, as good as I could back to normal. And then from there I went ahead and tightened down my first wire, which was my ground wire to the ground bar, um, which is also shared with the neutrals in the house. Um, so when tightened the grounds down the ground down to the ground bar and I took my 40 amp breaker and loosened up the screws to get my wire inside and then I went ahead and tightened down my first wire and I figure it's a little bit easier to do this once you before you snap into the breaker it's a little bit easier to just do it in your hand and then rather put the breaker in and then try to get the wires in and tighten those down while it's in place so I went ahead and tightened down the black and the red wires to the 40 amp breaker and then from there I just snapped it in to the left and then pushed it down on the right side and then after that I made the wires look a little bit more presentable by folding and folding them up a little bit better and I didn't cut any of the wires shorter because if you ever take this out you're not going to have any more length so I just left the wires long then from there I pulled out the two uh, spots off of the panel cover to fit the new breaker um, so you're not going to want to miss that so I took those two spots out and then after that kind of made my wires push my wires back in there a little bit more and then I went ahead and put my cover uh, panel cover back on still with the power off so I got that lined up and then I went ahead and put my six screws back in and then after that I went ahead and turned all the breakers off just in case. Um, so everything was off at this point, the main breaker and all the breakers. And then I went ahead and turned the main breaker back on and then turned all the breakers back on one by one. So there was less of an inrush current on the house. And then I finally turned on the new breaker that I installed for the juice box. So I got everything turned back on in the house. Everything's working good, no problems. I went ahead outside a lot of the dark because um, I started this at 6 p.m. But everything works and everything turned out really well. And the total elapsed time was about 2 hours and 14 minutes with the trip to Home Depot. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully this video helped you out. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and it helped you out and if you enjoyed the video. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless. Peace.